Okay, this is going to be the short and sweet version. I did a full version and it was too long and it would not let me upload. So we're trying it again. The website is Sumo Paint. It's S-U-M-O-P-A-I-N-T dot com. And I don't have an account and I have not downloaded it. I always just do um, the online version. So right here where it says try online, just click on that. And um, you'll go to, into the application and whenever I'm erasing I want my canvas this is your canvas but I want my canvas to be the exact same size as my image so I just close this out um, if you know what image you're doing you can right click on your image and on a PC I think it's properties and it will tell you what size it is mine is get info and the image size is a 373 by 692 so I always name my pictures, what, what their dimensions are when I'm working with a whole bunch of them. So um, I don't have to figure out what they are each time. So 373 by 692 is the um, dimensions. So in Sumo Paint, we're going to go to File, New Image. Um, and you can name it here if you want to. Um, we'll call it Practice. Um, erasing. Your background, this is important because we only want the player. We don't want any other background. We don't want it to be white. We want it to be transparent. So at this point you would choose transparent for your background. And then your width, um, just double click on that and just type in the numerical value, 373 double click the height and 692 and then once you have that done you would say okay alright um, so here is my canvas with a transparent background and now I want to import a layer I want to import the image which would be a second layer on top of the transparent canvas so you're going to go up to file and you're going to import to layer from your computer and um, mine's just on the desktop. You'll have to browse to wherever you have your saved and then just double click it. And now you have um, a second layer added to your canvas. So when you are erasing, the only thing that you have to worry about is over here on the toolbar, you're going to select the eraser tool. It's the left column, fourth icon down. Just mouse over it and it will tell you um, what they are so you'll just click on eraser tool and then the only settings you have to worry about changing are your diameter and then if you want to change your brush type um, you can use the dry brush I actually prefer to use the um, airbrush so the air when I'm erasing I do the airbrush and so I'll do a four or a five I'm just going to do airbrush five and again, you can do whichever one you want to. And I select it, and it changed it. To close this out, just click back on the Airbrush 5 name, and it disappears. So the diameter is 30 right now. So if I just start clicking and just dragging the mouse with, um, with it clicked down, then I'm erasing. I'm actually just using the trackpad on my laptop so if you're good with your trackpad you can do this if I'm if I'm doing these outer edges I'm actually you know would increase my diameter so I just pull the arrow down and I would increase that and then it, this part will go faster with a, a larger diameter and if I was really doing this then I would actually do all of the outer parts before I would start doing the the little part so I don't want to try to go in there because I'm going to end up making a mistake so at this point um, we you know are pretending like we've done all of the out, outside um, big areas and that goes pretty fast so we'll be ready to zoom in so we're going to go up on the toolbar where it says view and click on view and then we're going to I just zoom size and then I go straight to 500%. Um, Obviously the diameter um, is too large and so we're gonna drop that down to about five or eight when I'm doing the detail um, 
erasing, I'll do a 5 or an 8. Um, and then you just get as close as you can and start erasing around every part of the player. And you can see that there's little cutouts. It's not actually a circle. And so you can actually just kind of, you know, tap it where the squares are when you see the transparent background. You can see um, you can see where that square is, and um, erase it just by tapping on top of it. If you make a mistake, I always make a mistake when I'm having to do the helmets. But if you accidentally make a mistake and it's it's crooked or whatever, then you can just go up to Edit, Undo and it will undo the last um, click that you have done. So a lot of times I forget and I just I hold my mouse down and I'm erasing and, I'm erasing and then I make a mistake and then I have to undo everything. So, you know, I'm not doing this one. I've already done this one um, in the long tutorial and I did a good job. I'm not worried about doing a good job So, because um, I'm not using this one. But um, when you're done, then you would just zoom back out to the regular size. So you would go to view, zoom size, and then 100%. And um, then you would, would save. And if you made a mistake, then, um, or left something out and need to, er to go back and erase it, then you can zoom back in. And I kind of look and make sure that, you know, everything, their body looks the same. If you, if you make a huge mistake, then, and you can't go back and undo because there was so much in between, then you'll have to learn how to use some of these other tools over here. <laughs> um, so once you're done, you're just going to save it and you're going to do file and you're going to save to my computer. And um, I'm going to leave practice erasing as the name. Make sure you save it to ping or JPEG. So ping is a larger file, but it is it's you know a higher quality picture. Um, don't save it as sumo because you will not be able to open it on your computer because you don't have the the sumo. So I just save it as ping um, to my desktop um, and save. All right, and then just real quick to show you um, why I want to do um, some some pictures in front of the green screen. If we do a new image, I'm not going to worry about um, changing the size. But if I do a new image and I say file, import to layer from my computer, um, this is something that I could not erase. Um, <laughs> that would be impossible. I just, I mean, it would, that would take me forever to get in between all of those. So, um, the background is gray, which if any solid color, um, a green screen would be our solid color. Um, but if it's one solid color like this, then you can use this little magic wand and you just click on magic wand I click on the gray area, all of the gray is selected, you see the, the blue outline, and then I press delete, and then it is gone, and I'm done. So, that is why I said we should do some promo pictures in front of the green screen, because I'm done with it, and I don't have to spend an hour trying to um, erase everything. So, alright, so that's going to be the end of this um, video. You can, you know, double check and make sure this was our um, practice erasing picture right here and it's saved to the desktop. But um, I'm actually going to use a different one to actually do the poster and I'm going to do that in a different video so that they're shorter. So, alright, um, I will stop this here and do the next video to show you how to put it all together.